Um, so, uh, my topic is um, traditional Tibetan medicine as an ancient personalized medicine and it's relevant in the modern world. Uh, I'm sorry I will read uh, my paper because not, not enough time. So, um, more and more scientific discoveries are happening in the world. More and more we start to know new about ourselves at the microscopic level. But at the same time, we lose our sense of integrity. Um, the world is changing and the medical approach are changing. If 100 years ago the main cause of death was an infectious disease, now it's a cardiovascular disease and oncology, uh, which is in the fact uh, the outcome of chronic sluggish disease. Now we already know what is genetics and epigenetics are. Genetics suggests the development of disease and the epigenetics allows to develop or not develop the disease. Now we know that changing uh, the way of life, physical activity, nutrition, stress level can reduce the likelihood of negative genes. Having decoded the human genome, we have access to a unique code uh, through which we can try to manage our health and even life expectancy. Um, proceeding from the postulates formulated in 2008 by American biologist Leroy Hood, the whole world learned about the main criteria of modern medicine. Modern medicine must be predictive, prevent, preventive, personalized, and participatory. Uh, if we study the theory of Tibetan medicine and approach to the treatment and prevention of diseases, then we can find all these criteria in traditional Tibetan medicine. So, um, the predictive value of the medicine is achieved through knowledge of the typology in traditional Tibetan medicine. Several works uh, have already been done on the comparison of genetics polymorphism and some constitutional types in traditional Tibetan medicine. In my work, I make the review of the most interesting data in this direction. Uh, knowing your set of polymorphism of the, or the constitution, you can talk about the likelihood of developing diseases that are associated with risk of, uh, for this constitution. Prevention. Uh, prevention. Um, preventive uh, means immediate correction of the condition detected as a result of diagnosis. In uh, TTM, uh, there is an ancient nutritional approach to the treatment of various, various diseases of typological or uh, resulting imbalances in life. Personalization, here the approach is built not only by constitutional type genetics, but also in individual disorders of our body balance. So, in traditional Tibetan medicine, some diseases characterized by the same symptoms ha can have a different therapeutic approach. Um, differentiation uh, of diseases is carried out according to certain uh, diagnostic criteria through pulse reading, urine analysis, tongue, eyes, and the special methods of questioning the patient. Uh, participation. The patient is an active participant in the healing process, is trained and can indep uh, independently adjust his state. Undoubtedly, uh, in antiquity, this approach uh, was a guideline for following the rules. But in the modern world, the possibilities are much uh, broader, and we can recommend coaching session or school for patients uh, to more effectively introduce new healthy habits and provide correction uh, of the state during the healing process. Thus, uh, TTM meets all criteria of uh, modern medicine and um, can be recommended to use in medical institutions. Moreover, economically, this uh, medical approach can become more profitable since uh, diagnostics doesn't involve the use of complex laboratory and functional studies and can be recommended for use in screening, prevention, examination, and for the treatment of uh, chronic diseases. Uh, predictive uh, predictiveness. I want to speak more about research of traditional constitution through genetics. It's known that various constitutional types, in this case Ayurvedic, may metabolize various pharmaceutical preparation in different ways. We consider and legitimate in this article to use a study of constitutions in Ayurveda, since these constitutional types 
almost coincide with uh, the constitutions in TTM. And since a different level of metabolism of the same drugs is called pharmacogenomics, this uh, marker can also be used uh, to determine the typology. Um, so, um, you, you can find the link on the down. So, the following SNP polymorphism on the right side uh, are important markers for pharmacogenomics um, that have been compared with constitution. You can see, yes, different constitutions are compared with this polymorphism. Some of them show it uh, clear tropism to one of the Ayurvedic constitutions type, which is similar with Tibetan. Undoubtedly, such an approach is promising from the point of view of the general utility in the management of patients on allopathic preparation, and the constitutional approach will be screening method before determining uh, pharmacogenomics. That is the ability of a drug to affect different people. Nutrigenomics. In traditional Tibetan medicine, there are a large number of methods for prevention and the development of diseases. This is a special procedure for balance the predominant humors. This is a prevention procedure for correction the manifestation of negative genes, such as a correction of nutrition, lifestyle, treatment with traditional Tibetan medicine and external procedures. Food components can affect to our genome, activating different genes. In TTM and Ayurveda, there are also such parallels. Moreover, in TTM, not only the constitution, but also the time of year and the area where it lives are important for completing a diet. All these are important components for disease prevention plan. Preventiveness. Uh, preventive medicine is now developing and it will be promising to focus its attention on preventive measures in TTM. In our work, we have already managed to survey more than 50 genetics maps uh, of patients with different constitutional type according to TTM. We researched KNCNP. A correlation was established between predisposition to the development of diseases according to TTM and genome data. This article uh, is prepared publication. On what we were based? From the TTM text, the possible risks uh, of the development uh, of various pathologies for representatives is dif of different constitutional types are known. Of course, this is related not only genetics, but epigenetics and as a result with peculiarities of metabolomic genetics and epigenetics factors for the manifestation of different nosologies. In my work, I managed to look at the genome of people and codon conduct its corresponding assessment of its constitutional components according to TTM. Thus, it was possible to identify certain statistically significant prevailing SNP from people with the constitution of lung, tripa, and becken. Um, based on the obtained data, data, we can talk about the correlation of constitutional types and data of the genome from the point of view of the development of constitutionally associated diseases. Conclusions. Thus, <laughs> traditional Tibetan medicine in the future can meet all the requirements of modern personalized medicine. Having vast experience and approach to the treatment of various chronic nosologies according to the constitutional types of TTM can become a medicine of choice uh, for people who prefer natural therapy, who have a serious allergic anamnesis for children and the elderly. Having vast experience in preventive medicine, namely clear instruction and text on seasonal nutrition, diet on constitution, seasonal recommendation of lifestyle, the use of traditional Tibetan medicine, we can draw up protocols of preventive medicine. Recent research on activity of some components of traditional Tibetan medicine drugs uh, in the field of anti-aging medicine opens new prospects uh, for revising and uh, <laughs> substantiating uh, the theory of TTM and also play important role in evidence-based. You can see the link down. Okay, thank you so much. I think I <laughs> have enough time. <laughs> Thank you.
No question? No, okay. One question.